Liya is a little kid with only one relative, his mother. The manhwa starts in a hospital with Li Ya in and his mother. It seems Li Ya in is a bit taken aback in his thoughts and is analyzing humans and asking questions. Why they do the things they do, the way humans give big meaning to little things, they name everything in the world and give meaning to everything. Li Ya in's mother is worried her child is not showing affection and doesn't talk to her when she talks to him. The doctor after running tests, showed that he is fine and that he is just like that and his mother complains that he isn't talking at all and he is already six years old, and he did not even cry when he was born. The doctor proceeds to say that there is nothing wrong with him physically and that maybe it could be a psychological problem. The mother refuses to believe that that is the case. The mother is someone who had a very hard life. She lost her family to war, and lost her husband to another war not much later. To her the world is too harsh and cruel. However she has a block of blood to care for and she needs to make ends meet. She carries the protagonist on her back and sells vegetables at the local market. The mother once had that babies would grow up properly if they listened to people saying words of love and affirmation. Despite the lack of response the mother would constantly tell our protagonist, I love you. He couldn't understand what she said, but, that one feeling. Ya and didn't hate. The scene is cut to a man being chased by some people who appear to be bandits, and unluckily for him he falls to the ground and has now been caught. He begs to be left alone but the bandit only shows him the face of disgust and look down on him. Then out of nowhere they notice the protagonist standing on a pole, the reflection of the moon on their faces. Surprised he shouts that the kid come down from the pole. He jumped down and this pole is literally 50 times his height but he easily jumps down unharmed. Then our protagonist dashes at the men at an astonishing speed. Surprised one of them tries to pull out a gun to attack but it was too late as our protagonist was already too close and then he imagines the word Argentinosaurus, and for context, an Argentinosaurus is a dinosaur with the brute force to destroy an entire building. Instantly he deals a tremendous blow on the face of the man and he literally one-shot him in an instant. It turns out that our protagonist can imagine any animal or thing in his mind and can automatically assume the properties and powers of said animal or thing. Surprised at the outcome of his test even the protagonist did not understand what was going on however it was clear to him that finally in this life he can die. At this point everyone including the person that was being chased was afraid and surprised of what just happened. The little kid just gave this man, VIP tickets to the afterlife. In the midst of all the commotion, the leader of the group punched the child, and he fell to the ground. But he was shocked to see that the child stood up without hesitating. Angry at the child, the man tried to punch the child again at the back of his head, but instead of hurting the child, he broke his wrist. It turns out the child imagined the word turtle to strengthen his body. Then he grabs the man by his neck and strangles him as he imagines the word chimpanzee. Out of nowhere a bullet came flying and pierced through the child's torso. Surprisingly the child had been shot by the man that he was trying to protect. And as he lost consciousness, all he could think, was that he had made a mistake. The scene cuts to the next morning where we see our protagonist laying on the floor. I got hit by that weird thing again he says. It hurts he says. But then our protagonist is able to heal himself by thinking of the word sea cucumber. And then out of nowhere he hears his mother screaming his name. It's morning and his mother is worried because she did not wake up to her son beside her, so she was screaming and searching for her son everywhere. Our protagonist being fully aware of this, could care less and says, that he has a survival instinct and he can already hunt so there is no longer a reason for him to be with her. So he leaves. Then fast forward 4 days later, and we are cut to a scene where the protagonist is barely able to keep his being together, and just falls off to the ground. I am burning all over he says, and my stomach is upset. Is food the problem? I thought I was an omnivore. What is the problem? Our protagonist is in a dilemma. Even after millions of lives, I have never felt this feeling before. Death. It's okay, I don't have any regrets. If this really is the end. Luckily for our protagonist it wasn't the end, as our protagonist turns to the side and sees Lo and behold his mother has finally found him. His mother burst in tears and runs to him picking his food deprived body off the ground and hugging him with tears in her eyes. Our protagonist is confused, I thought I was about to die he says, but my thoughts have started to clear. I'm hungry, and I want to eat food made by this human. Our protagonist's mother is in tears, and is screaming and hugging her son that she just found. How long is she going to cry for? The protagonist says, stop that, and give me food. 
In that moment Ya and thought that it would be better to make her stop crying, and decided to speak the human words that he couldn't understand. The words that his mother always said to him with a smile. I love you. Contrary to Ya In's intentions that only made his mother cry, and scream even harder. The sunset that night was especially, beautiful. That's it for this video, please, I am more or less a new channel, and I really enjoy reading manga and manhwa alike. I also hate when I find it difficult to find the good ones, and I'm assuming I'm not the only one. So I'll be trying to help as much as I can to put out videos like this. But, with that said it is Blue Melon here, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please feel free to share it, cause it will really help encourage me to post more chapters. You have a nice day, bye. Please, leave a like, and subscribe.